If you're working as a mechanic like I am, you need to protect yourself. But what kind of safety gear or PPE should you use? In this video, I'm gonna go over exactly what I use every day on the job and give you a few options to find what works best for you. If you're new to my channel, in my day job I work as an aircraft mechanic, but actually after high school I started out as an auto mechanic, and for about 10 years after that I was actually working a couple different factory jobs. And over that time I've used probably just about everything you could. Some things I liked, some things I didn't, some things really didn't do any good at all. But if you think about it, we probably all know somebody who's been hurt on the job, and maybe even ourselves. And I certainly don't want to see or hear about any of you getting hurt. And of course I'll have links to everything down below. Starting out at number one is the most precious gift that we've been given, and that is our eyesight or really the safety glasses we will use to protect it. Now there is a whole slew of safety glasses out on the market. I, I can't pretend to know every single one or I have used a lot of them. If you don't have to wear glasses or you wear contacts, most safety glasses that are appropriately rated and at least you know wrap around should be most of the protection you'll ever need. Now if you're like me and you wear prescription glasses, you have less options. So one of the easiest things to do is just go ahead and get yourself a pair of prescription safety glasses. They'll already be impact resistant. Most of them will have a full wrap around and be ready to go just like these. Now it really all depends on your prescription. There can be some drawbacks. My prescription's pretty heavy, and these, as such, these lenses are actually kind of thick, and they can give me a little bit of glare as I move around. And because they're thick, they can also distort some of what you're seeing, and it can take a bit for your eyes to get used to wearing them when you start out. But they are generally the lightest and most breathable option you can wear. Now you can order your prescription safety glasses from a local store, or a few months ago I started buying my gear from safetyglassesusa.com. They carry the majority of what we're talking about today, including the big brands. Just remember to have your prescription handy. Next up, you could just wear your regular prescription glasses, but then wear safety glasses designed to go right over them, much like these. Now these fit nicely over my glasses, but depending on the size of what you got, they may not. These are still pretty breathable, do have the full wrap around, and they don't seem to fog up too bad. Now there's a little bit of optical distortion around the edges. You're still getting protection you wouldn't otherwise. This is another option where you get the full wraparound protection of your glasses, and this has a little bit of extra of a sealing material. I don't know if I'd go as far to call them goggles, but now these are ones if I had to do some sanding or grinding in a, whether underneath an airplane or up in a gear well, this is probably what I'd be wearing. Now none of these are a be-all and end-all. If you're not using a tool properly, you're doing something you really shouldn't, mm, nothing's going to stop that. Now I have noticed these do tend to fog up a little bit in the corners, uh, not all the way blocking your vision, but Depending on what I'm doing, I'd rather have that than crap in my eyes. And of course, if you're doing some kind of heavy grinding or a lot of stuff coming on, you should probably wear a face shield. Now, none of these things can do their job if you don't keep them clean. If you can't see what you're doing, you're more likely to hurt yourself anyway. Don't use your t-shirt, don't use a towel. You could use some kind of microfiber rag or you know, the ones they sell at glasses stores. But me personally, I like to use the prepackaged wipes. Just use once, throw away. There, that's much better. Next up, we gotta protect our hearing. And just like with safety glasses, there's so many different options, there's so many different things out there. Try a couple of things, see what you like best, but I'm gonna share what my favorites are with you. First up is the tried and true foam earplug. Most of the companies I've ever worked for have offered them and they kind of always seem to be this yellow and pink <laughs> version. These are the Howard Lights with a noise reduction rating of 32 decibels. They're soft, they're comfy, and you can wear them all day. And here's the right way to do this. Roll up the plug in our fingers, turn it sideways, pull our ear up, and insert down in, and let them expand. It always feels kind of funky when that happens. There we are. I can't hear a thing right now. Now, although you can reuse them, I personally don't recommend it. They never seem to seal quite as well the next time. I mean, they're cheap. You get a whole bunch of them in a big box. Right? But that's about the cheapest, easiest option. It's low profile. You're not you're working in tight spaces, you're not working about a muff getting hung up or sticking to something. Now you can get, or your company might provide for you, custom molded earplug. I actually had to go somewhere where they made these and they, they poured some kind of goop in my ear and made molds and then a couple weeks later I had these. You can usually pick what colors you want. You know, it's, it is kind of cool. Personally, they don't seal as well as just the rollable foam plugs, but they do work and they do go in quickly. Now if I'm not worried about having the bulk of an ear muff, there's two different versions that I'll use. First up, if I want to listen to music and I can do it, where I'm at on the job. I'll typically pull out the 3M WorkTunes earmuffs. They have both a line in and a Bluetooth that I can listen to music while I work and also protect my hearing too. They have passive noise reduction that blocks a lot of the crap from getting in and that way you don't, also, you don't have to blast your music either. Now if I'm working on something while it's running or I need the hearing protection but I still need to be able to hear somebody, I use the Razor Slim earmuffs from Walker. Throw them on like any other 
earmuff, and there's a little knob on the side that I can turn it on, and that amplifies the sound around. So I can still hear other people, and if the sound gets too loud, it'll automatically cut out the microphone. These have become my go-to for every day at the shop. And this little handy-dandy bag is made by SOE Tactical out of Tennessee. And next, we really want to protect our hands. We only have 10 fingers. We're not getting any more. Look around your hands, and how many scars do you have? What were you doing when you got that one? What about this one? I know what I was doing. More often than not on the job, I find myself wearing some kind of rubber glove, and usually it's a black nitrile. The nitrile is usually more comfortable and, in my opinion, lasts longer than the latex. It breathes just a little bit better. Whether it's fuel, oil, hydraulic fluid, whatever the case may be, definitely want to keep your hands protected from that stuff. It's not good for you, but I find with the nitrile, even when they're wet, I can still get a grip on my tools or whatever piece I'm working on. Whether it's an oil change or it's an annual inspection, when it comes in the shop, it's hot. And so we really need to wear some kind of glove over our hands. Now my go-to and personal favorite is mechanics wear gloves. I've been wearing some form of these or another for over 20 years. Started with working at the local short track and then in the Ford dealership, home projects, on the job, and now in my current job. When the new airplane comes in, these are what I grab. On they go. These are the fast fits, which go on, like they say, fast. I don't have to waste any time before taking out spark plugs and doing compressions. They're not too bulky. They give good grip. They give you some very good heat protection while you're walking around. Now, you're not going to want to lay your hand on a Honda exhaust and keep it there. That, that wouldn't be very smart, but they'll protect you while you're doing your job. Now, if I'm really going to be working deep in a hot engine or around a turbocharger, then I also grab these Mechanics Wear heat sleeves. These give extra protection to the forearms while you're in working, when you got your hands deep in something, and you can still put your gloves on over top. There we go. They are 100% Kevlar and they do give you some cut protection as well. Reach inside any engine and you'll know why. There's plenty of times I've had to work around a hot turbocharger and I didn't have them and really wish I did. And finally, we've got to protect our feet. I mean, after all, most mechanic jobs, you're up on them pretty much all day, every day. They got to be comfortable too, or you're not making it through the day. Now I've used a lot of different safety shoes and boots over the years, and over the last couple of years I keep coming back to Red Wing. Yes, they're more expensive, but you really do get what you pay for. The cheap $50 boots at Wally World, they might work for a day or a month, or but they're really not going to hold up. These Red Wings that I'm wearing right now are a year old and they don't show any signs of stopping. They were a little stiff at first, they did take some time to break in, but after they did, man they're comfortable. Anybody remember that old commercial? I gotta get me a pair of the metal fours. Other brands will protect your feet, but I haven't had any that'll hold up as long and do so comfortably. This is just my humble opinion after years of wearing different kinds. Well, that's my go-to PPE that I use every day. What are your thoughts? What do you like to use most? What happened to you when you weren't wearing it? We could all learn from those stories.